Welcome back to another Silicon Direct YouTube episode. Today we'll be talking about thermal paste. Thermal paste, you'll see it in shops like that. Sometimes it comes in a little tube like that. And this stuff does not get the credit it deserves. So what it is, is a thermal paste or thermal compound, depending on who you talk to. Uh, to talk about the thermal paste, I'm going to go back a little bit and talk about cooling fans. Uh, so over here you've got a processor cooling fan. Okay, you've got a fan up top. You've got a heat sink. And then on the bottom you've got copper there in the very center there. Over here you've got uh, same thing, cooling fan. It's an aluminum heat sink. It's aluminum on the bottom as well. Here you've got a video card. You've got a heat sink there and a fan up top. On a motherboard, you've basically got heat sinks here. These are called passive. The other ones with the fans are called active. So these are called passive uh, because there's really nothing taking away the heat. But how this works is this heat sink is sitting on top of a chip or something that needs some kind of cooling. Like for example, this is a processor. So what would happen is that processor gets smoking hot. You could actually fry an egg on this thing. So what you do is you take this, or preferably this one. This one's copper. Copper is good because it actually has a great uh, transfer uh, capability. So what you do is you normally would put that on top of there and it makes contact with that processor. When that processor gets hot, the heat gets transferred to this little copper tube. The aluminum heats up really quickly and then that fan jets out that hot air out the top. So it's called an active cooling system. So it's actually blowing out the heat away from that processor and that's how these things work. Same idea here. This big giant fan is sitting on a heat sink. That heat sink is sitting on the main chip for this video card and it's actually absorbing, that's why they call it a heat sink, the heat is sinking into this aluminum uh, structure here and the fan is actually actively pulling it away. Sometimes you'll have active fans, active, uh, active fans cooling that, active cooling systems, or you'll have a passive cooling system like this one here. It's just basically the heat sink, it's usually aluminum. Copper would be preferred, but copper costs money. Anyway, so what happens is, what you do is you put this in between the two devices. So in between this heat sink and in between this video card, you've got thermal paste that's in there. Sometimes you'll see thermal pads. It's like a spongy material. They're not as good, but uh, the, the effect is the same. What you're trying to do is you're trying to facilitate the heat transfer. And you're thinking, well, wouldn't having it without nothing, just pressing against it be good enough? No, because metal has microscopic gaps microscopic grooves, microscopic valleys where there's little imperfections. So when you piece it together, it's not going to go perfectly where when you have that thermal paste, it makes a perfect, nice, even, um, it makes nice, even contact with the two surfaces. So the heat just flows and that's the whole purpose. So there's all kinds of high end stuff out there. There's the cheapy stuff like, you know, you can just get it in a little tube like that. Uh, there's some Cooler Master, which probably came with one of the Cooler Master fans that we've got up here. Uh, we've got some higher end product. Uh, what do we got here? MX4 Thermal Compound. Very good stuff. We sell it on our website. Uh, we've got uh, Arctic Silver 5. Premium stuff. Uh, it's actually 99.9 .9 micronized silver. Uh, and the beauty of this stuff is even if you get it a little over the chip or something like that, it's non-conductive. Most of this stuff is non-conductive. So it's not really a big deal if you get it off. So that's, uh, that's how the thermal paste works. It's basically just a layer of paste in between the two surfaces to allow the heat to transfer from one place to another so you can keep your computer cool and uh, a cool computer is a happy computer. Uh, heat is usually what kills this stuff. So anyway, tune into our next video where we're going to show you how to apply the paste. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, click on uh, one, of the, uh, one of the links here on this uh, thing and, um, and you can see how we apply this stuff. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please like it, uh, please subscribe, and we'll see you on our next video. Thank you.